Oh my god. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um so if you're new to the channel, if you guys don't know what's going on, um my wife gave birth to our beautiful little baby daughter. It was a C-section and she had some complications at birth. They had trouble getting getting her oxygen levels where they needed to, so she spent about 30 to 45 minutes um, underneath care. We're supposed to leave the hospital, but we're still here because she had her hearing tested and one of her ears passed and the other one didn't. So as of right now, they're saying, you know, we don't know if she can hear out of her right ear. She already has this issue with her ear called uh, microtia, is that what it's called? She, she has like, a small case of microtia, yeah. which the top, so the ear she can't hear out of, they're saying that she was kind of, she was head down the whole pregnancy and that her head was probably up against the uterus or whatever and it was probably smashing her ear mm -hmm. and um, we don't know if that caused damage to her hearing but it basically the top of her little earlobe instead of kind of being puffy a little bit it's mm -hmm. just um it's still round it's got the right curvature it's just this part up top is a little flat it doesn't have a little little fat part in it yeah they're saying hopefully she might you know grow into it or whatever it kind of yeah. may fill up but yeah. um that on the same ear that she can't yeah. hear out of so it's a little scary um i don't remember what the numbers are exactly but i think you have to have a certain amount of uh, i think you have to get to like a hundred and what, 60 something? We have the chart. Where is that chart at? Go yeah, go get the chart. Um, she's supposed to be at a certain amount of something. I can't really think of the numbers right now. He's got the paper. But she's failing it by by quite a bit. So um, in one ear, she's good. I think he's getting the paper. In one ear, she's good. In the other, she's not. So they're going to come in and test in a few hours and or retest in a few hours and see if everything's okay now and I mean we're just hoping and praying that it is yeah, so her left ear passed and her right ear is um oh her right ear failed yeah her right ear failed yeah yeah they're basically gonna refer us to I guess like another hearing specialist to kind of um yeah well if, well, if, if she fails again yeah so if she fails the test again they're gonna refer her to like hearing specialist um, but we're hoping that she doesn't fail the test again. Put a little hat on. Yeah, there she goes. There you go. Guys, they made her a cute little bow hat, <laughs> which is so cool. Whenever your kid comes out, you just want to hear nothing but like good news, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just really hard to kind of hear, you know. Um, it, it is. It's hard to hear anything bad about her. And they actually said that she has a heart murmur too. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, I feel like every time they come in. It's like bad news. They like add something to like what's going on with her yeah i hope we have no more bad news i just want smooth selling from here i hope that when they come in in a few hours she passes and um i'm just, just doing a lot of praying you know because as you guys may or may not know you know having a c-section is hard you know for all the women out there who's had one mm -hmm. you know i'm still trying to recover and like get myself together and it's been very hard for me I, um, I'm in a lot of pain, um, but it's kind of hard when you're already in pain and then you're hearing things about your baby. It's like, uh, it's a lot. I just don't want them to like come in no more. You know what I mean? I, I would, don't say I, anything else. I know. But um, I think, I think she's been checked out to the full extent mm -hmm. and we're hoping not to hear no more bad news. Yeah. But she's, she's a, she's a strong little girl. She is. I know she's, uh, hopefully, hopefully she pulls through with everything and, her hearing is good and um, you know the heart murmur situation is you know hopefully that's just common with c-section babies nothing serious and you know hopefully I start feeling better again because right now I can barely get out of bed and move around um, and it's just it's a lot but Travis has been holding down the fort he's been taking care of her and you know getting up with her in the middle of the night and um, she gets up every two hours guys like yeah. every two hours yeah she loves to eat she's a thin little thing but she loves to eat, and um, she's been having a lot of, a lot of uh, poopy diapers, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we're gonna see what happens in the next couple hours. We'll come back to you guys. Yeah, uh, when they do the test. Yeah, yeah, they're supposed to. They're supposed to come test her. They said sometime this afternoon, so we're kind of waiting on that to see 
um, you know, I guess whenever they get here, we should know right away because yeah. the test prints out or they, they do the test right there yeah. and it's like a little monitor that reads out everything for us. Yeah. So when you talk to her, she looks up at you and she just like has these beautiful little eyes and she's just like, she knows our voices. It's, it's like so, so cool. And she loves just kind of being close to you. Like whenever she's like close to you, she's just so content. Just assumed I'd play the part Of keeping you in the right direction No matter how your confidence may fall I'll be here as your foundation And I say hey Perfect. Oh. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so she passed. Woohoo. She got the pass. She could hear. That's good. We were concerned about that. Yeah, because this was the one we got yesterday that said, what was it? Wait, no. That's not it? That's the other one. Yeah, that's the other one. That one's Where the she one. failed. That's her result. That said she failed. Oh. Job, pretty girl. All right. We are so proud of you. Good job. All uh, right. I'm gonna try to eat some stuff. I got a sandwich. Uh, it's not the healthiest, but I mean, I could have gotten a salad or something. I just, I need to put more fiber in my diet because I need to be able to have bowel movement. But in the meantime, I've got some a yogurt parfait. I've got some ginger ale, a sandwich, and some ruffles and some water. Um, I need to start taking some of this stuff off the tray, but um, I'm super happy, guys. My my breasts are so they're full. Them things are like whew. they're sore. Dang. They're so full of milk. I'm so happy that I'm gonna, gonna pump be, tonight. I'm gonna be pumping like crazy to get my little one some milk. Um, or I should say our little one. Whatever, my little one, your little one, whatever. Um, but they're full, and so whew, I'm excited this pregnancy. Um, or I should say this. This second time around, I guess, motherhood, because with winter, couldn't produce, so with her, I'm excited. Yay, looks like she's gonna have a plethora of milk. <laughs> Travis, this is not for you. This is for the baby. These are off limits to you. <laughs> this is only for the baby. <laughs> she's sick of it now. So she, she just got this serious look on her face. I'm feeding her. She's almost finished this bottle. Mm -hmm. And she goes, and I was like, what is she doing? I thought she was like super full. And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> she was making a room. She went poopy. <laughs> she did. All right, guys. So we are going home. I'm so thankful tomorrow. Thankfully, she passed her hearing. So we're very excited about that. It's a good night. Isn't it sexy? Mm -hmm. And you got some food over there. This is a crazy request. It's all I need. All I want to do is to go to have a bowel movement. <laughs> I'm miserable. You're still sexy though. Ugh. You're still sexy. They were wanting us to stay one more day. But I was like, I think we've had enough. I think we're ready to go after like the what, almost fifth day. Yeah, I want, I want this baby um, to meet her sister, to meet Winter. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it as well. Come on, let's burp. Can you burp for daddy? Let's get a big burp. She ate a lot of them. She did. I normally stop and try and like let her drink half and try and burp her, but she must have been like really hungry. Mm -hmm. You're a hungry little girl, weren't you? She's a tiny little thing, but she can eat. She is. She really can. She's so pretty though. Yeah. She's so sweet. Mm -hmm. She's like the sweetest thing ever. She hasn't burped yet. Come on, yeah. pretty girl. Come on, burp her daddy. I love you. Can you give me a burp? She's so sweet. <laughs> like, she's the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> Are you crying? Is that a tear I see? <clears throat> Get like too emotional, but she's just so sweet. 
don't. No, you hear that? <laughs> don't, don't make daddy cry. Stop it. You're gonna make me cry, girl. All right, guys, so it's a little bit later in the night. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys see, thank God she passed her hearing. So she is good mm -hmm. to go. So thank, uh, thankfully we got some good news. I think yes. we're heading out of here tomorrow, right? I think we are Oof. We are good to go now. Um, hopefully no more complications. Hopefully no more <laughs> anything. The only thing, the only thing I'm worried about now, this is kind of gross guys, but I still have not taken number two, if you know what I mean. <laughs> still haven't had a bowel movement uh, in five or six days now. So I'm a little bit miserable at the moment, uh, but they're doing all they Bloated, can do. Stuffed. Yeah, they're doing all they can do to like <laughs> help me out with that, but it's a very miserable feeling. So other than that, I don't care about myself. I'm just happy that baby girl is good. Um, so she can hear guys. Ooh, man, that, that was like, yes, that was like a rough 24 hours, honestly. Like yeah, just I'm, anticipating, like hoping that like her test came back good. I was up like all night just thinking about it. I was like, God, please let her be able to hear in both mm -hmm. ears. But it all worked out. So thanks so much. Um, you know, we're just, we're so thankful. We Honestly, need to go home. We need to bring our baby home. I think we need to bring her <laughs> home now. I think everything is good. Yeah. So thanks for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we love you guys. Thanks so much for all the love and support. And uh, just prayers for me, guys. I know this is gonna sound really crazy. And really silly, but just prayers that um, I can have a bowel movement because I'm really miserable. Oh, see, she feels my pain. She feels my pain. She, I think she probably got gas or something. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, we love yeah, you, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.